Hello and all, welcome back to World Let's Play Yakuza 0 in the last part. A blind woman asked me for octopus. <laughs> Essentially. And now we're gonna go give it to them. Uh, I, I forgot to actually hit record at first. So, I actually went off and I grabbed the, t the octopus before I, I realized it wasn't actually recording. But, uh, you didn't miss much. You did not miss much. It was just me casually walking over to an octopus stand. As you do. All right, out of the way, various people! I'm sorry, but I've got an order to fill! Okay, I guess I can't go that way. It's shrouded in darkness and evil! I have no time for conflict! Oh, please help me! I don't know if it's an actual thing or... What's that dog doing? I don't know if it's an actual thing or not, but it keeps talking about how I have to get back before it gets cold. Ugh! Fine! I'm not going to ignore someone who's literally being stepped on. Feel the wrath of the baseball bat! What are you even gonna do about it? Nothing! <laughs> that was awesome. I love this bat! Ah, weaponed combat man. Anyway, hey, I got a carved wooden bear apparently. Not entirely sure what the deal with that is, but I've got it! Woo! Okay. Everybody out of the way! I have to go do not creepy things. I'm just going into an alleyway. Oh, kitty. No one cares, random hooligan. I've got important things to do. All right, got that takoyaki. Hopefully it'll help calm her down a bit, assuming she's even in the warehouse anymore. Unless she's gone. Oh, no, actually, she actually is there. I was expecting her to leave. She didn't, though. Hey. I got some freaking octopus. You still crying? Well, then I got good news. <laughs> How much is half a shake? Like, what is one shake? In like five minutes? Half a shake? Two and a half minutes, maybe? Huh? What up? I mean, we are in a secret revealing mood. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's the positive way to looking at it. It's like, yeah, it's okay, I still got one. Well, given enough time. Although, what kind of emotional trauma did you go through? Oi! Other than all of the stuff that just happened. But you are already blind. I mean, you get to wear an eye patch, so that's cool. Girl, don't be getting Stockholm Syndrome on me. Well, we don't have cell phones yet, so... Oh, wait, you're blind. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how that was weird. It does look really cool. I must protect this lady. Bummer. Bummer. 
捨てられないものってあると思わない他人から見れば全く意味がないけど自分にとって You ain't gotta explain it to me, lady. I get it. すごく大切っていうか目が見えなくなって時間もわからなくなって時計も壊れて音も出なくなってだからわかってるよそんなもの必要ないってでも私がまだ元気だった頃の証し Before you were getting stuffed in warehouses and being fed octopi by a hitman. Well, I'm guessing I could probably fix it somehow. <laughs> I mean, you you do kind of need some good luck these days. That's not what I was saying at all. <laughs> Admirable. Although it is convenient you took it off, because now I can totally get it fixed. I mean, I'm no watch repair man, but... Worst case scenario, I'm sure I can find somewhere, <laughs> someone who can fix it. Temporary lodgings! I mean, probably. Be a pretty boring game if I didn't. But then, tragedy? What is the haps, lady? Partially. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, the Tojo clan. <laughs> He's gonna try. Ain't nobody taking Majima down. Have fun in the warehouse. Try not to stub at your toe. <laughs> or hit your shit on any of the dang chairs in here! My goodness. Alright. Maybe I'll drop by a cabaret club, like that one guy said, on my way to checking out the Grand. Might have seen one in the Hoganaki Yokocho area, maybe. Hey, it's worth a check. Oh, I didn't get any giant ominous little kitties. Aw, that kitty's taking a nap. Oh, there's three! There's at least three! Oh, no, there's four! I think there might be four kitty cats in there. There's a lot of kitty cats. It's a good time. Well, I definitely have some time to burn. If y'all want to get into a fight, bikers, huh? What stops your pants from getting caught in the spokes? Womp! 
And goodbye! <laughs> that's such an undignified pose to end out on. But that's what you get when you mess with me. You don't mess with my Jima. Because he'll smack you something silly, even if your pants are bright pink. Ah, pink pants disappeared! He was a phantom the entire time! Bing, bang, bada, bada, boom! Oh, wait, nope, pink pants is returned. And whoosh! Pink pants down. Ow! Why would you kick me in the gut like that? That's just rude. Oh, oh! Oh, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? There you go. Ow! That was the back of my head! Somebody touch a my spaghetti! And I don't take kindly to that! <laughs> Ugh. Fighting with a baseball bat in an alleyway is kind of tough. Also, it's Mr. Clown. How's it going? I didn't actually want to talk to him. Yeah, good for you. I've already grabbed everything and I can't use any of this stuff because I guess you can only use it after you've beaten the game. So that's disappointing because it looked like different costumes. I'm all about that. Huh. Eh. Freaking. There. Yeah, congratulations. Sorry. <laughs> But then computer decided, we just scanned your uh, computer. You're virus free. Yeah, no, duh. <laughs> you don't need to tell me that. And who's this guy? Personally, I feel like I haven't accomplished enough to warrant a break. Well, you're not manager question mark anymore. Number one girl. Sunshine, huh? Didn't know there was a spot like this tucked away back in this part of town. No, sir. The Cabaret Club. Oh, that's the flippy difference. This I don't understand how this would be any different, but okay, sure. All right, wouldn't recommend them without good reason. Got to be something to it. Worth a look. Everybody says you, you're the guy. I want to be the guy too. No way. Maybe when you're older. Name that quote. Hmm, dead as hell. And I've been to livelier graveyards than this. Not a soul in here, besides me. For this club's top girl, she's pretty low key. I'm not sure if that's rude or not. Is your top top gal because she's the only one? Or does she just speak with a, a stutter? Is this lady seriously the best they got here? Uh, yeah, How on earth do you afford to keep this place going? Five stars? Anything like the five billionaires? That Kiru has to deal with? Do I need to hit them with a baseball bat? I'll do it. Oh, okay. Or do they just use violence? 
もちろん古店舗はどれもすごい人気ですただ閉店に追いやられた理由は They use a gun! それだけじゃなくて And it has bullets in it! Nerds! Well, that's no bueno. Oh, this is gonna end badly. <laughs> Pudgy man. Wow, you are ugly as hell. What is up with your eyelids? It's like they're... It's like you didn't have eyes, so you had to cut them open. Captain Pudgy man. Club Mars? Oh man, is there a Club Jupiter? Jupiter's better. Although Mars is good. It seems pretty cut and dry, yeah. <laughs> I can't tell if your shirt's covered in polka dots or pomegranates. Oh, those are buttons. There's like every single part of his face is angular. How did you accomplish this? I'm seeing a lot of parallels between these two stories at this point. Show up one more time, you'll get a baseball bat upside the back of the head. Good lord, you are an unpleasant looking person. I don't think anybody can pull off polka dots. Don't know what made you think you could. Crossing a line! Maybe. But the concussion I'm about to give you is definitely going to keep you up at night. Don't worry, you got yourself Goro on your side. Do not worry, for I shall save the day. No, but seriously, how's this place any different than the other places? I don't really get it. Looks like it's time to save the world. Or rather, your world. Monopoly! Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I don't care for that idea. 
キャバクラという勢いのある新しいビジネスの波に乗るべくたくさんの店が出店していて栄えていました Now they don't like healthy competition, they just want money. Now they don't like healthy competition, they just want money. Now they don't like healthy competition, they just want money. Now they don't like healthy competition, they just want money. Now they don't like healthy competition, they just want money. Now they don't like healthy competition, they just want money. Now they don't like healthy competition, they just want money. Now they don't like healthy competition, they just want money. Now you're infringing on my turf. Now I have triple the reason to stop them. I guess if they owned enough, they would be accumulatively big enough to make be a threat. Makes sense. I'm gonna have to own like a bazillion of them. Oh, that's what that guy meant when he said that he couldn't buy one. Seems like the only difference between a place like the Grand and this is just this place is smaller. But yeah, kind of threatening your daughter now. I mean, I wasn't gonna say it out loud. おせじにもいい状態とは言えんな。これでも少し前までは、この地域のキャバクラでは一人を争う人気店だったんです。でも、あいつらによる店内での迷惑行為の連続で、お客さんも離れてしまいましたし、女の子も。Don't worry, don't worry, I'll be helping you out. Don't much care what happens to this town, but the thought of people like that doing whatever they want pisses me off. Plus, if I let them go now, there'll be trouble for the Grand's bottom line down the road, which means trouble for me if I'm still around. I'm curious about the Cabaret Club business, too. Maybe I'll try to learn a bit more by helping out around here a bit. Oh, I was hoping for a nani. Thank you. <laughs> that they do, Majima. That they do. So, you know, I got multiple reasons. I help you, you help me, it's all good. Man, I'm a good guy. Okay. I like Majima. Just seems like a cool dude. Yeah, let's make it good and stinky. And not until I've done something. Then you'll be in my debt. Even then, I'll probably, you know, absolve it. That's the back office? Yeah, mostly serves as a staging area for the staff. They organize things back here, manage the girls, that sort of thing. So it seems like there's like a grand total of four people working in this establishment at any given moment. That just, mm. What would you say to taking over as manager, Majima-san? Would you mind? Say what? Manager just like that? Yeah, sir, you certainly have the experience. And I fear Sunshine can't reach its full potential under my direction. I'd give you total authority. Of course, I'd still be here supporting you in any way I can as floor staff. Will you do it, sir? 
Yeah, all right. If you're that serious about this, I'll do my part too. Leave it to me! Thank you so much! I'm at your disposal, Manager Majima. <laughs> it's a little weird hearing that from you. Now, if it's all right with you, I'd like to jump right into an explanation of how a cabaret club is run. I imagine not too terribly different than my that real estate thingy. I wanted to do more of that, but it wouldn't let me. I couldn't figure out how to buy places. I'm gonna have to, like, Google it. That said, there's a lot to cover, and I know you're a busy man. Let me know when it's a good time for you. All right, there's a hideout, which also serves as the key location for your business. As the story advances, you'll unlock the ability to switch protagonists, yes, using the hideout telephone, as well as change clothes into any outfits you've earned. Except, not really, because this isn't like a New Game Plus situation. Well, I mean, I'm good if you are. I was thinking this might be a good time to run. I mean, I got nowhere to be. The basic cabaret club management. You have a moment? Yeah, let's do this dance. Lay it on me. Righto, then let's get to it. All right. As a czar, you need to operate your club, earn money, and grow your clientele, and ultimately crush your competition. Your final goal to establish Sunshine as the undisputed top club in Sultan Bori. You can open the club as well as manage the girls who will form your active lineup by talking to the Yoda to talking to this dude. As Sunshine's popularity increases and the clash with your rival clubs heats up, the drama will unfold. Drive those rivals out of business and you'll unlock new combat techniques. Majima can learn to become even stronger, so bring the fight to them as aggressively as you can. By driving the popularity up, you can transform it into a source of tremendous profit, and anything you earn with the club is yours to spend how you wish. I see, and get filthy rich in the process. I'd say that covers the basics, anyway. Need me to run back through that again? Nah. Nah, I got it. Sure thing. Wow, a couple of those dresses in the back are gaudy as hell. <laughs> Seriously, the majority of them are just going to make the people here look like otter pops. In that case, the next step is, huh, well, let's have you actually open the place up and do a round of prep. This is the sort of thing where the quickest way to learn is to actually just do it. Let's give it a try. I'll chime in with advice as we go. Ah, hey, let's go. I give you the thumbs up. Oh. There are three options at the top menu. Prepare to open. Select staff for the shift. Change their appearance. Cha-cha-cha-cha. Open for business. Do the thing. Ravel battles. Enter a showdown. Showdown! Alright. Hostess statistics. Okay. They have different sets of stats. Various stats showing the hostess ability to entertain customers. Looks. Yeah, I mean, that is, I guess, a thing. Physical appearance goes a long way in this line of work. It's sad, but true. The better values, the easier it is for a hostess to ensure her guests have a good time and spend lots of money. Ability stats rise as she levels up. Like in any job, she gains experience by working shifts and undertaking training sessions. Makes sense. I do like the... I, li I like the four categories that apparently they're, su they're summarized into. Sexy, beauty, cutie, kin cute, and funny. Like, yeah, I guess that would be if you had to condense it into four. Let's see. Only platinum hostesses can undergo special training. Like Yuki? During special training sessions, Majima will sit down with a girl for a practice conversation to, to, to take her out on a mock date at a karaoke bar. Hell yeah, we'll do the singing. If training goes well, the hostess will earn a lot of experience points. Looks good on her resume, too. You can only train one girl one time before opening for business on a given night, but a well-trained staff will give your club an edge. Makes sense. You can apply freely change the look of your platinum staff by choosing outfits or other such, such, such nonsense. New hairstyles, dresses, and other items need to be purchased the first time. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, I suppose. Uh, use the duty roster to... <laughs> duty. To assign hostesses to work the next shift. Uh, condition. Okay, uh, this just will affect their performance. Tired, smart moves give them time off. Yeah, of course. You know, be a decent manager makes sense. All right, once you've done that, first choose which areas customers you want to target. The more rival clubs you defeat, the more areas will be available. As you gain more fans in an area, more customers will show up and more of them will be big spenders. After each shift, you gain more fans. Okay, and that's apparently everything. All righty, let's prepare to open. All right, we've got Hiyoki, Endo, and Namiko. All right, I guess those two are bronze. I guess, special training, I guess. I'm just, I mean, if this gets me more stuff, sure. Okay, let's do some conversational training. Yes, thank you for your help with this. All right, we're going to have to work on your hesitation. What's up, Yuketan? You nervous or something? No, I wouldn't call it nerves. It's more like battle butterflies. 
That's so. Well, I guess that's encouraging enough. All right, you ready to pretend I'm a customer? Yes, I mean, you were momentarily. Hmm. You sure you've got this? It's time to give you some... Tr Whoa, okay, hi. That's your face. Okay, well, let's start with an easy topic. Tell me about some hobbies! I mean, that's the basics. Huh. Yep. Come to think about it, I don't know much about you either. Let's use this little practice to get better acquainted. Hobbies. Hmm. I am all up in your business, and I don't know how to feel about that. Got anything? What? Oi, oi. <laughs> I didn't realize I could actually move the camera. I don't know why I would, though. I'll just look up at the chandeliers. That's an awkward conversation. That kind of talk ain't gonna cut it. You just flatlined the whole conversation. You gotta keep it going. If I had to guess, you probably have a good... Uh, quote unquote cute stat. Mm. Dari, huh? Oh, that's a great start, actually. I don't know why Majima's not voiced voice fully for this, but she is. When you write about in it. Girl, you just talking about some bonsai. That's a hobby. Wait, 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 back up a bit. Bonsai? How'd you not think of that as a hobby? Wouldn't you think that tending bonsai would count as a hobby? Bet your older clientele would love hearing you babble on about that. Whoa! I have appeared to have gone into an entirely new genre of video game. What do you mean sharper than I look? That's rude. Are you saying I look dumb? Well, anyway, why didn't you mention your bonsai? Eight years is considered a nobody? How is that within the realm of possibility? Okay, well, I think it's pretty amazing. Then just don't bring it up with any experienced peoples. I'm kind of uncomfortable. You really clam up when the guest stops talking, don't you? Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I just I thought I thought I saw a bee. Mm. Yeah. Impolite. That ain't the right idea at all. Our customers here are spe are here specifically to talk to people, or, or I guess rather gals. You've got to lead them in with some topics. You got to keep it going. You gotta you gotta keep the train rolling, especially if you're gonna be a number one girl. <laughs> I don't know, you know any card tricks? Compliments! If you're drawing a blank on something to talk about, try a compliment. Ain't a man in the world who would churn down a compliment. A complimento, like... Uh, perhaps not so... on the nose. <laughs> yeah, his face, his voice, personality? I don't know, if he looks even a little well off, try to say something nice about his clothes, his shoes, hell, even his watch. Why do you keep throwing these incredibly rude statements at me? Is that your idea of a compliment? You just called my eye patch janky. What if I have a complex? Oh boy. The road to success is going to be long and bumpy for you, Yuki-chan. Yuki. Alright, what else is a good conversation starter? Get some kind of talent, maybe? Yeah, on second thought, scratch that. Nani? Oh. Well, I mean, you're the one who said you didn't have any hobbies. I'm not 100% sure what that 
exactly means. Okay. Um, this one seems less. Man, your eyes are going nuts, so you're very nervous. Um, I don't think the grandkid type thing's gonna work. And then call and and asking if like that's a talent. I don't think that's those are good options. So let's just uh, keep it rolling. Yeah, you see, everybody's got a hidden talent. That'd make you perfect for the older clientele. Especially with you talking with about bonsai and right and the stuff. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, kind of weird you're going to have to talk to a lot of old dudes, but, I mean, I guess you wouldn't be in this business if you didn't anticipate something like that. I'm sorry, you're going to have to forgive me. I don't entirely understand why somebody would willingly take a job like this unless they had absolutely no choice. Why didn't you tell me sooner? We can't be letting a talent like that go to waste. You okay, John? Origato, indeed. Wow, I actually said that wrong. Origato. And it's decided. John, you're going to be our older customer specialist. Every grandpa who walks in here is going to get assigned to you. Well, occasionally, but whatever, man. You... you... You signed your warrant! Alright, let's change gears. Why don't you tell me about a weakness you've got instead? Anything come to mind? Other than apparently your speaking ability? Weaknesses? Well, I have lots of those. I suppose you could continue on, I guess, the path that we're tr I guess we're setting for you here? I mean, I guess if you play up your weaknesses and stuff, I mean, you could attract some sort of... I don't know instinctive protection from people? I'm not really a social analyst or an expert on any of this stuff, but I'm pretty sure that's a thing. <sighs> you know, like how people are always going on about them, their, their precious cinnamon rolls. Why does that not surprise me? Oh, hey. <laughs> eh, I'm just messing with you, you dork. Well, if you've got a lot, how about you pick one for me? Anything's fine. So, this is well, that's going to be a very sincere problem. Yeah. If you're no good at talking to men, why the hell would you work in a place like this? Uh, I mean, I, I, I guess that makes sense. You're lying! I mean, that is true. I mean, you were, you're clear, the, the beginning of the sentence clearly implies that, but I don't know if I want to press it on the matter, but you know what, let's do it! Huh? Oh, come on, you're lying through your teeth. Real terrible liar, Yuki-chan. It's not a lie. I sure hope I didn't just do something stupid. But you've got to hide anyway. Listen, it's fine if you've got secrets, but if you want to last here, you got to learn how to hide them better than that. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, I guess I screwed that up. Ah, oh, well. Progress was still made all the same. I think that's a good stopping place. Good job. So let's see. That was a pretty good lesson. Not fantastic, but I mean, you know, one step away from perfect. That went better than I thought it would, actually. You might just make it through this. Give it up and you'll have these customers melting like chocolate on a dashboard. Why would you keep your chocolate there? You think so? I do feel a little more confident. You are kind of stuttering less, so that's good. Hey, leveling up. Whoa, two level ups. I'm not 100% sure I understand... At first, I thought those symbols under looks were just the PlayStation icons, you know, for the, the buttons. But if they're both circle... Then they must be working on some kind of scale. Either way, I have trained you! Alright, well, I guess that's all you can really do. Let's see, do I have the money for any of this? The star of the club! She's a diamond in the rough who could shine. Okay. Well, I don't see anything inherently wrong. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Uh, beauty, bring down the funny. Okay. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. This game has taken me to a lot of places I never thought they would. <laughs> like, is, like, is this really something I'm doing? Interesting that I can inexplicably make her hair longer than it is. So that just looks silly. Wait. Okay, that looks good, but that's... That's primarily my preference. I just think girls look good with short hair. Uh, that seems a little too young. Oh, ponytails are fantastic too. Alright, yeah, that's definitely the, a beauty type. That seems, I don't know. That just seems too fancy. Yeah, straightened out just seems to, I don't know, flow better. Alright, well, it's my personal preference. Let's see. Well, as much as I like this... Uh, that boosts... Oh, wait, yeah, dang it. It boosts that, but drops that, where this just gives boosts. So, you know what? Let's roll with this. A timeless hairstyle, indeed. I could change the color of her hair? She's seriously okay with something like that? Make her hair green. Oh, my goodness. Some freaking uh, Miku stuff going on here. I mean, well, okay. I mean, if this, if she's totally okay with this. I mean, I guess if this is your job, I mean, I guess these are. I mean, you could always say no. All right. Well, then I guess let's. I kind of want that, but that also seems a little too much. I think this is a good color. There we go. Not bad. I mean, I'm not. An expert on any of this. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's 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 play to her strength and find like which one of these things boosts cute. Doesn't seem like any of them do. All right, well let's at least get something that provides a boost and not a deterrent. That just brings down the cute. We want to play up the cute. Well, then I guess the the dress you've got... I mean, I, I think it looks fine. I didn't really think there was a need to replace it. All right. How much of a difference does this make? Oh, lordy, Lou. Okay. I don't even know how this is possible. How do you do that to eyebrows? Well, all right. Makes sense that you can also change the eyebrow color. But okay, then yeah, all right. Lordy, I have. I guess we're just gonna be working on playing up the whole adorableness. That's interesting. I mean, we can add a little splash of color up in there. I have, I don't know what I'm doing. Eh, personally, I find eyeliner to be entirely unnecessary. Same with eyeshadow. Ugh. Just comes off as weird to me. Color contacts, huh? Hmm. Okay. I guess... I guess it... Yeah, okay. That, that'll, that'll work. I, I think that's fine. Let's let's not go with anything too intrusive. I sure hope I'm not making her, like, worse. Either way. There we go. Well, all right. Now I guess success with Oz. Eyeglasses. Imported. Oh, dang. Boost the funny. But lowers the cute. We don't want to lower the cute. Personally, I feel like they add to it, but... All right. Let's see. If anything helps... Maybe it just can't go any higher. Maybe that's the problem. You know what? I'm willing to bet that that's the case. All right, yeah. If that's the case... Hang on. Is this... Okay, that... Ugh. Why does getting the funny reduce the cute? I just want to not... I don't want to make her worse. Yeah, that, that that's going to be my guess. 
It seems like a pretty a pretty good assessment. Like double circle must be like the best possible. Ooh, rainbow. Okay, that 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 boosts that boosts funny. Well, you know, let's go with funny and cute. There we go. Let's see. Yeah. Boost the thing I don't care about and drop the things that I do. All right, hair accessory. Oh. Uh, I mean, that does actually... That boosts stuff. It doesn't drop anything. But at the same time, it just feels... I don't know. It just feels a little too tacky to me. All right, let's see. I just realized gaudy was an option. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Nope, definitely. You're just gonna have to go ear ringless. Let's see. You already do ring? Cool ring! Whoa! That's a honker! My goodness! Alright, let's see. A watch. That doesn't really seem to do anything. I mean, I'll get, you know, there you go. Now you'll be able to at least keep, 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 keep the haps going. Alright, and that just, alright, I mean, hey! It's not a top priority, but if it's if it's a boost, it's a boost. All right, now just one quick second. I, I now that I actually have something of a feel for what's going on. All right, so this does nothing, but I, I think she looks really nice in them. There we go. Look at her. I'm no stylist, but I think she looks pretty great. But talk about a complete and total transformation, though. All right, I guess that's just. That doesn't really boost anything, but apparently makes her happier? Fine by me. There we go. I think you look nice. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, okay. Okay. And you can't- I can't do anything about the other two. You can only really do stuff with- with the Platinums. That makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, Moon, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter. Okay, so they are all they are all uh, based off of the whatever those are called planets. Yeah, those things. All right, we do want to definitely be great in Jupiter because Jupiter is the best. Well, alrighty. Um. Wow, straight down the middle. Makes sense, I guess. Okay, I, I mean, I guess that's... Can't really change anything on that one. Um... Okay! I guess we're open for business. Says the guy who has no idea what on earth he's even doing. Alright, we need to target Club Mars! I mean, I guess. Only three gals work here. We need more! Ah, oh, that's actually really cool. Man, changing up, changing up her hair color really makes her stand out. I keep forgetting. <laughs> really, your hair is usually black or brown in Japan. Anything else, you're going to stand out. All right, make as much money as possible for the shift ends. When a customer comes in and takes a seat to sign him a hostess. Different customers have their own preferences when it comes to looks or ability. All right, choose the best possible match that I can. Gradually tires the hostess out, lowering hospitality. Without HP, well, that's going to be a real problem. Okay, on standby. Alright. Okay. The mini gauge at the bottom right corner shows how much cash your guests have spent in the club at that time. Press R1 when it's when it's full to cut loose and trigger party time! <laughs> party time will put customers in a fevered state that loosens their inhibitions and their purse strings. Interesting, there are uh, plenty of benefits to that, so, you know, use it. Alright, press triangle to approach a customer's table if any trouble arises. It's time for the check, or if a hostess calls for your help. You'll have several, several options, okay. Oh boy, if a guest is happy with his hostess when it's time for the check, you can try suggesting... Ah! An extension, the customer will stay longer and go into a fever state, spending more money. Getting mega-rich customers to agree to an extension is a foolproof way to boost sales and keep your girls uh, milking the golden cash cow. Hmm. Shift the girls around to fill these requests as they arrive. Everyone's got a favorite. And a results screen. Your club will earn more fans depending on its performance. I feel like I'm going to do terribly, but I'm going to try my best. 
Guest has arrived indeed. Um, wants to talk, long session, prefers beauty. Okay! Let's roll! Apparently this person is poor, but that's fine. I think she has the highest beauty stat that we have available to us, so... I mean, that's gonna... that'll work, that'll work. A guest has arrived! Alright, let's see. Um... Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. There you go, there you go. Really do wish I could help out those other two, because that dress just does not look good, girl. Mm -mm. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Just make sure everything is working out. Okay. And another. All right, we've run out. Oh, hey, okay, you're apparently really good at, for this one. Get to work, girl. You and your weird shiny raincoat. Uh, zoom in and enhance. All right. She's giving a signal. Oh, menu. I'm sorry, I'm new to this. Okay, okay, just keep her going, keep her going. We only got the poor people going on here, but that's okay. Ah, Cheku, please. All right, let's not try to extend anything. Let's just say, uh, thank you very much. Much appreciation. Oh, butts. Okay, hang on. Need help. She's giving a signal. Uh, what's the signal? What's the signal? What's the signal? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, just the menu. Easy peasy. Okay, okay. Just keep boosting that health. All is right. All is well. Let's see. You're gonna have to take what we got. And that's all we got. So, d -d 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 deal. Okay. There we go, that's fine, that's fine. She's already feeling kind of tired, so you know what? Thank you very much. Very, very, very much. I hope you enjoyed. Okay. Whoa, what the hell was that? Whoa, people are actually throwing a lot of money away at this. Look at the money fly! Wait, isn't that the exact same guy? Alright, whatever. Get back to work, Yuki! Oh boy. Yeah, you're you're definitely getting tired, lady. All right. Is it just the menu you want or towel? Have a towel. I don't know why you need a towel. I choose to not well, I choose to never find out. Okay. Party time. Party time. Yeah, how How does one activate party time? I imagine there would be some kind of indicator. Anyway, thank you very much. Endo is way too tired to even think about risking it. Let's just do the best we possibly can. Oh, Lord, that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. Help who is on the way. I'm not entirely sure what that specific thing you just... Another ashtray. There we go. There we go. Now, I see, s like, skill? Like, what does that even mean? Skill, talk. I am confused in many ways. Let's see, how you holding up, Endo? You doing okay? Help! Alright. I am on the way. Alright, I'm starting to pay attention to the hand signals. Maybe they can help figure out what they I, they are ahead of time. Guest glass. Gotcha. There we go. Recover it up. Recover it up. Come on. Step it up. Alright. Uh, she's not the best for this particular fellow, but uh, you do what you can. When you only got three people. Alright. So what does that one mean? Apparently that means ice refill. Okay. Give him, giving me the rock horns downward means ice refill, I assume. I don't really know. 
Oh, R1! Sunshine! That's how you do it! Yeah, everybody! Got crazy up in here! What, what? Alright, you want yourself a check? Let's zoom in. But you're feeling crazy, so maybe... Good job! Alright, that's fine by me. Everything is good cause it's crazy party time for reals. Everything is great. Everything is awesome. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah, you need a checku, please. Very well. Gracious send off. There we go, okay. Alright, now get out of the get the hell out of here, you bum. Seven guests. Okay! Hey, we made a profit! And leveling up! Hell yes! Good job, everybody! Okay, okay! I feel like we're making some real genuine uh, progress with that one. Not bad for our first try. Thank you for coming. Woo! Not too shabby. Still, we're short on guests and gals. Is there no way around that outside of the daily grind? If you wanted to hire new girls, I suppose scouting them around town is the quickest way. Hey, girl, want to dress up real pit pretty and get money out of dudes? And trust me, it's not as creepy as it sounds. <laughs> you can add new girls to club roster by scouting talent just around town or by trading CP. All right. It'll be hard to outperform the competition with an empty roster. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more. Especially with more people. Um, I need to be able to, I guess... I don't know. I need to be able to hone specific girls into specific categories so that, like, ah, okay, they like a cute person, so we, uh, but I, I maxed out this gal and that specifically, so she's good. Let's go. And word of mouth from everyday business is one way to bring in new customers. Now you're signing deals with other local businesses is also effective. All right, some of the shops will sign partnership deals with you for a price. Partner businesses will send their clients your way, growing Sunshine's fan base in a hurry. More fans mean more customers, which in turn means more profits. Makes sense. Scout for girls, partner up with local shops. Bada bang, bada boom, bada bada boom, boom! Hi. All cities are a battleground. There's a lot to do. But good luck, sir. I'll take my best crack at it anyway. This place really needs more girls. Hardly any point to open in the doors as it stands now. Huh. Ah! There's the girls over at the Grand I got from the Odyssey in that trade. As long as we got Nozomi, we're covered at the Grand. Should be fine if I bring the rest over here. I'll put in the call. All right, we've got Kirara. We got one person. I'm amazed, if not surprised, Mishima-san. Hard to believe that was your first time. Keep that up, and we just might really manage to beat those bullies back. And which bullies might those be? Mmm, they call me Captain Chunky, and this is my... These are my, my bodyguards. Uh, Tubby Wubby and Wubsy Glubby. I'm here for your answer as promised. It hasn't even been that long. I told you before. The answer's nay! I see. And I was so hoping to do this amicably. Shame. Hey. All right, you lot. Beat him up. Mm -hmm. What are you? Change a stubborn fool the reality of a situation. So you resort to violence in the end. You're a coward, chubsy ubsy grubsy lubsy. <laughs> Sticks and stones. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones. But as it turns out, a baseball bat upside the sternum hurts a whole lot worse. Boy. Hold up. What are you supposed to be? You're reckoning, generally. Name's Majima. Yodahan's asked me to take over operations here. As long as I'm standing, nobody's making trouble in my shop. <laughs> New manager. <laughs> I see. I'll grant you. It's a wiser choice than letting it... Oh my goodness, what a butthole. You seem like you know your way around a fight, so you're the boss and the bouncer. Clever choice for an idiot. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna knock those polka dots right off your face. What do you want us to do? Take this guy out too? Nah, I find myself curious to see how they plan to claw their way out of this hole. They can crush them anytime. And I look forward to being entertained as I watch just how far you manage to crawl after making enemies of the five stars. You were lucky today, Yoda-san and Majima-san. Well, why don't you just try your best? If I get bored, I'll drop by and swat you down like the flies you are. Bring it, Porky. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, man, I was thinking he looked kind of like a like minch. Enjoy watching your wobbly little house of cards come crumbling down on you. Hope your ass is ready to get bur bleh, buried. <laughs> I'll see how long that big talk lasts. 
I advise you not to take the five stars lightly. Well, that was fun. Thank you, Majima-san. Don't worry about it. The real battle's just starting. We gotta whip this club into fighting shape fast if we want to take them on. We will! I'll give it all I've got, Majima-san. Anytime you want to open the club for business, just let me know. Anytime at all. I've got my hands full with my own place, too, so I can't be here around the clock. I'll make a point to drop by whenever I got a minute, though. Whew, this might be tougher than I thought. Soon we shall be the, the supreme being. Oh, definitely want to do that more often. Heh, Goro Majima. Things are about to get interesting. Dun 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 dun. Womp womp womp. I'm starting to get why Yamagata Han told me to check out cabaret clubs. But that ain't more time than I planned. I should get going back to the Grand. Or immediately go back inside. I mean, that's an option. <laughs> Either way. Alright, didn't have a ton of time, but I managed to get some pretty good... Oh, terribly sorry. I managed to get some good progress up in here. We've established a... I hear the harassment of a woman. White Knight powers, activate! Alright, wow. Pink pants, yellow coat, and a sweater vest. No wonder you need a gang to get anywhere with women. I've never been in a single relationship in my entire life, and I can already tell why you failed. Ugh. I love that move so much, but it's... I can't use it! Alright. Fine. And you are most certainly dead now. Well, Majima, do you think you could kill a man? Um, hmm. Well, considering the fact that I, what I just did there, I feel like I probably could. A slightly battered Italian woman's watch. Neat. All right, well, I hope you guys had a fantastic time. I might go back into that club on my own time. If anything story-related happens, I'll, I'll stop immediately so nothing gets spoiled. But, um... If I can get rid of some, if I can like bypass some of the grind, then I feel like that would be for the best. Either way, I hope you guys had a super fantastically wonderful time in the next part. Well, I guess we'll be going back to the grand. And every time I hear the grand, I don't, I don't know if you guys have this where you are, but like grands are like, like biscuits. Like you, 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 you pop them open in a little tube can thingy, and 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 you, you cook them, and they taste delicious with butter. I don't know, man. That's all I. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm hungry. Hope you guys had a great time. I'll see you next time. Bye.